everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Master Bucks. My name's Ella, and today we're learning about Indiana. Hold on. Not that kind of Indiana. Give me a second. That's more like it. Today we're making sweet cream pie. First thing we're going to do is blind bake the crust. First, you need a 9 inch pie pan. You need to spray it with cooking spray. And then you need to carefully take your pre made your pre-made pie crust, lift it and then put it in there and it is going to crack. So carefully, carefully. Yeah. Now you want to get the air bubbles out. So what you do is you lift it, you carefully press it down with your fingers, careful not to crack it any more than it's already cracked. And then, no more air bubbles. I'm gonna do that on a few other spots. some of the edges off because we don't want all of this hanging. So we're going to try and make it even all the way around. I'm using a butter knife. Using the extra bits you cut off, you can use them to fill in any holes or cracks you have in your pie. Now, the next thing is to do is to crimp the pie. You can do it by pinching your fingers together, and you can also use a fork. The extra bits that you cut off are also helpful to practice this. And what's important to remember is that you press lightly, but not too light, so it's actually visible like that. But if you press too hard, this happens. And then the thin parts become burnt. And we don't want burnt pie crust. So it's very important to remember that. Make sure it covers all of it. Now we are going to put in these special pie weights so it doesn't bubble up. And if you don't have the pie weights, you can always use dried beans. Find the end. Okay. Make sure they're all spread out and not one area, because if they're like over here, the rest of here will bubble up. Now we're ready to bake. While my crust is baking, you want to get a pan on medium heat and then you want to whisk in half a cup of brown sugar it's like a sand castle and you will need a fourth of a cup of cornstarch
and three-fourths of a cup of sugar. Now we're going to mix them together. Now we're going to add two cups of half and half. Ooh, sizzle. Now we're going to mix it again. You're going to stir this while it heats until it thickens. Oh, pie ready. Now we're going to add a stick of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Make sure to remove this from the heat while it's thick. Okay, there we go. Now let's add the vanilla extract. Oh, don't want that to fall. Now we're going to mix. It smells really good. I wish I could smell it. Now we're going to pour this mixture into the pie sprinkle some cinnamon on it and then bake it again probably gonna need my mom's help for this so catch you when it's done time to try it now i'm trying this at my mima's house because we just had thanksgiving here i'm honestly really excited to try it To be honest, it's one of the best pies I've ever tasted. It's really good. My family will be really excited to try this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so you know when every video comes up. Bye!